Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today for the second video of 2021. So I thought we could start at the very beginning with cleaning the home and instead of thinking it as some mundane exercise or a waste of time or something that gets in the way of enjoying other areas of your life, I really find it can be a very powerful experience, quite sacred, where you really look at what's important in your life and what you need to let go of. So it's like cleaning up all the dirt from every nook and cranny, any kind of mess that you have in your life that you want to maybe give it a little bit of attention and sort a few things out in your life. And we do this then in order to start a new chapter on a fresh, clean page. And just like the cobwebs, there are areas in the house where you can't actually see them unless the sun shines on them. So I just think of what areas in my life need a little bit of cleaning and what do I need to shine some light on in my life? And it really is a wonderful thing to be able to create beauty in our life. And I always look at cleaning the house or my life as just creating more beauty. And you've probably heard the saying, a clean home, a clean mind. And I find that giving the house a little bit of extra TLC just helps me to be able to think more clearly. So January is that time to clean areas that have been forgotten. And in our house we have a log burning stove and it creates an incredible amount of dust that drops on all the leaves, on the pictures, on the walls. And what's really interesting is you can't actually see the dirt until you look really closely. So I use January to just give myself that time to look a little bit closer at certain areas of my life. And the certain areas we want to work on can be different for everybody. So I think January is a wonderful time to just give that little bit of attention. When I was younger and I was studying for exams, I remember I used to always clean my room first because there's something about having a fresh, clean home that just makes everything a lot easier going forward. So just like in last week's video where we were talking about we need to be the change we want to see in the world, it has to start with ourselves. And it got me thinking that how can I get my life in order if I can't even get my home in order? And then how can we get the world in order when we can't get our individual lives in order? So I just choose to clean what needs to be cleaned and let go of what needs to be let go of. And then hopefully I'm able to bring myself into the world and create more harmony and more peace rather than more conflict and more turmoil.
Now I know that sometimes when we take things down and we start rooting through and cleaning, it can actually look a lot messier than it was before. So I always find a little bit of patience and kindness and perseverance goes a long way. And then when we're putting everything back on, it's always fresh and much cleaner than it was before we started. So I give myself about half a day and I'm not fussy if I don't get it all done in one day. You just go at your own pace. Just cleaning off what's been forgotten. And in relation to the cleaning solution, I just keep it simple with some vinegar and water. I'll leave a few links down below for some cleaning solutions like steeping some orange rinds or some pine needles but I find that life can be complicated enough so I just try and keep it as simple as possible. Remembering that it's not a race, there's no competition, it's just what you're able to deal with and it's always enough. So instead of brushing everything under the carpet, I find January can be a great time to lift the veil and clean and sort out what is underneath. And it might take a little bit of effort in the beginning, but it's always worthwhile in the end. I love to get this rug. I roll it up and I bring it outside and shake it out. And you'd be amazed at the amount of dirt that comes out that the Hoover doesn't even pick up. So I hope this has given you a little bit of inspiration to clean areas in your house that need a little bit of attention and similarly in your own life. And it was lovely talking last week to all of you about the intentions for this year. So I just think it's wonderful to start on a clean slate, a clean page. Bring out what needs to be given attention to. Let go what needs to be let go of. And so I'll chat down below to you as always. Have a wonderful week. Thanks so much for watching this video. Keep it simple and I'll see you in the next video.